Good morning, this is Mrs. Thetford and I wanted to read you a book today called Only One You by Linda Kranz and I was walking through the store and I saw this book and thought, oh my gosh, that's adorable. And I thought I wanna do that with my class and then we never got to. So here I am and I get to do it with the whole school now. So how exciting is that? I love the artwork. And there's all sorts of fabulous words on the inside of this book that we're gonna be able to know why they're there after. So here's the book and it says only one you. And so there's all sorts of water on the page and it looks like there's a little fish. So let's go ahead and start our story. It says, it's time, said Papa. I think it is, Mama agreed. Time for what, Adri asked. Papa's voice softened to share some wisdom. Always be on the lookout for a new friend. So here he's made a new friend. Look for beauty wherever you are and keep the memory of it with you. Here they are enjoying a tropical island. That's my happy place. Blend in when you need to and stand out when you have the chance. And there they are standing out and being unique. Find your own way. You don't have to follow the crowd. So you can tell that all the little fish are flying, or excuse me, swimming this way, and they're finding their own way. Know when to speak and know when to listen. And so here they are having conversations and one person is speaking and one person is listening. I have to remind myself to do that a lot because I tend to speak a lot, as many of you know. No matter how you look at it, there is so much to discover. If you make a wrong turn, circle back. So they're making a circle formation. If something gets in your way, move around it. And here they are, there's danger and they're moving around it because there is a fishing hook and they are all supposed to be fish. Set aside some quiet time to relax and reflect every day. So here they is, relaxing and reflecting. Appreciate art, it's all around you. And so there's some artwork. And make wishes on the stars in the night's time sky. And there they are, all looking up at the nighttime sky, which we can do right now from our houses. Oh, look at all the fish. It says, thank you for listening, Mama said. We hope you will remember. And Papa winked and whispered. We know this is a lot for you to think about. Adri did a backward somersault and smiled. He was excited to go out into the world with what he had just learned. Wait for me, he shouted to his friends. And there are his friends and he wants to go with. It says, before he swam away, he turned back to his parents and said, I will remember. Mama kissed Adri on the top of his head. There's only one you in this great big world, she said. And we need to make it a better place. And so there is Adri and all the other little fish together, his new friends. And so scholars during this time of quarantine, it's really hard because we're not getting to see all of our wonderful friends from school. But this book reminds me that we'll be able to be together soon enough and we'll be able to appreciate each other. And um, so for now, just keeping those memories that you have of your friends and the good times that we've had at recess and lunch and in class, but we'll be together soon. And so if you notice, this whole book is illustrated by rock art. And every single one of the illustrations in the book was just some simply painted rocks. And so the book made me smile because there was all sorts of suggestions on how we should behave. It says, be kind, listen, never give up, dream big, find your passion. And so it was really amazing what you could remind yourself to be a better person just by reading the back cover, the inside cover of the book. And so there is Only One You by Linda Krantz. And I wanted to read that to you at this time. So I'm gonna share with you a little bit more about my walk that I went on. And on my walk, I found some rocks. And so here they are. And I was picking them up and thought, gosh, what could I do with these rocks? My daughters have always collected rocks. And I thought, you know what? We could make rock art. So I ran inside and started to collect some markers. 
And I thought, well, if the scholars at school have some markers, they could make some rock art. And so I grabbed Sharpies and I grabbed Crayola pens. And then my daughter Catherine has paint. So I snuck into her room, I made sure to ask permission, and I grabbed some acrylic paint. And I thought, what could we do with these rocks? And so as I started to get a little creative, it was late one night, and I started flipping the pages of my book, I thought, I wanna make Adri. How would I make Adri with my markers or my paint? And so trying to put together Adri, it was not easy. I started with this little fishy right here, maybe one of Adri's friends. And so I took my markers and I just simply found one of my rocks that I found on my walk and I started to color it with marker. And as I started to color it with Sharpie, I made the mouth and I made the eye. And all this is, scholars, is yellow marker, green marker. It has a little bit of blue, some red, and then I outlined with um, black marker. If you ask what I used for the little white dot, believe it or not, we had some white out. And so I used that and it was just perfect. But I made one of Adri's friends. And then I thought, I wonder what I could do with the paints. And so I have to admit, the paint was a little bit more difficult, but also fun. So here is Adri. And I think I did a pretty good job. There's Adri on the cover of our book. And here is Adri right there. And so you can see, I tried my best, but I had fun making many of the designs on Adri and designing. But today I didn't get to add the details. And so I used paint and then I grabbed a Sharpie and I started to add detail. And you can put Sharpie right on top of the paint. And so if you notice, all I'm doing now is adding detail to my little painted rock because I was making one match the story. And so as I was doing that, it tends to add detail and it tends to add a little bit of flair. And so there is Adri and there is his new friend. And then I started to remember some of the other items in the book that reminded me on the rocks of what we could do and what we should do. We should appreciate things and I have to remind myself to listen but I also wanna be able to reflect. I don't know if you can see that one or not. We'll have to move them down. But I also wanted to, scholars, remember to appreciate the beauty that's out there. And so with these four words, I really liked that and I have my Adri. But then, as I was thinking, I thought, gosh, what do I appreciate in the beauty? And I thought, I really like going outside in my garden right now. I'm gonna make a ladybug and that wasn't too difficult. And then I thought about the page that I showed you when they were appreciating the island in the book. And I thought, oh, I love snorkeling and finding starfish with my family when we go on family trips. And so I thought, how fun, I have a little rock garden here. And just this past Wednesday when it rained, we looked up into the sky and we even saw a rainbow. So I decided to paint a rainbow on one of my rocks that I found on my walk. And so now I have all these beautiful rocks. And scholars, it's not hard. It just starts out with a plain little rock. I painted it light blue, and then I can add to it any of the Sharpie pens. And if I was going to, many of you know, I have a garden at home and I love flowers. So if I added a stem and I added a leaf and I just drew on top, I now have what looks like a stem of a flower. And then if I thought, gosh, what color should go next? How about, hmm, maybe I'll do red. And I'll put red on the inside as the center of the flower. And there is the center of my flower. And then if I put the lid back on, I can put some petals on my flower. And who knows, I've got a lot of scholars in my classroom that love purple, so I can even put some purple petals on my rock flower. And there you have, I could color them in, I could do anything I wanted. But I thought, now that I have all these happy rocks, what should I do with them? We've really had a transformation. We've gone from a plain little rock on my walk to a happy little collection here. And so I wanna show you in just a minute um, a quick picture of me and what I would be doing with my rocks. But right now, I really hope you enjoyed Only One You by Linda Krantz, and they are all just little painted rocks. And so, I suggest that you try to do this too. Thank you so much for listening.
scholars. So see, here I am, Mrs. Thetford. You have a face to match the voice that you were listening to with my fun little book, Only One You. I wish I could give you all a hug right now. Um, but I was able to show you, um, after I read to you my book, all of these amazing little rocks that I made. And I have to admit, I do not feel very artistic sometimes, but um, they made me smile. And so um, as I was doing this, I thought, gosh, where can I put them? And in our yard, we have all sorts of little potted plants that are out and about. And so here is a little geranium. And the pot's kind of just a little old metal pot, and I don't know why he's growing sideways. He's kind of going this way, but it leaves me a little bit of room right here. And I thought, how fun. I could either grab, oh, I could grab my rainbow rock and just decorate my plant and stick it right there. And if I didn't want to put my rainbow rock there, I think it might be funny to put a ladybug there because it looks like the ladybug is going to be crawling on my plant. And so this is one way that you can be inspired just by reading a book scholar. So don't forget to read many books during this time and be creative. Have fun. Go outside to find a rock today and make yourself a little rock pet. So during this time, I'm having fun in my garden. So I've got my ladybugs and I've got my words to remind me how I'm supposed to reflect and listen and appreciate things. And I'm still dreaming that I will be sometime soon on my vacation in my happy place. So have a great day, scholars. Bye-bye.